Hello everyone and welcome to part one of my Dirt 5 playthrough. This is actually the first playthrough of a game I've ever done on the channel. I'm a bit nervous, not gonna lie, but I'm also very excited to jump into this game. I've been looking forward to it since they announced the official trailer for it, going into a few details here and there. I haven't actually looked into it too much. I just know there's now a pretty awesome career mode that they've done with um, a few very cool voice actors, which I'm sure many of you will recognise. Now, I haven't actually looked into this game too much. I am obviously a fan of the Dirt series. If you know me, you know I've played all of them before. With this one, I've tried to keep it as new as possible for my experience, and hopefully all of yours as well. If you guys are new and you want to stick around for the rest of the parts of this playthrough, then be sure to subscribe down below. And I'll see the hair drop a like rating. I really appreciate it, especially for part one of my first ever playthrough on the channel. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Also, I just wanted to mention a quick disclaimer as I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video, which is great. This build, although it is the full release of the game, I was lucky enough to get a review code, so really appreciate that. Thank you to the guys that sent that over. And the other thing is that there will be some bugs that we'll encounter throughout the playthrough. I'm speaking after I've already done the playthrough, so I just want to make you guys aware of that. This is pre-patch, so once the full game comes out on every platform, all of these bugs will be patched. So I just want to make you aware, if we do come across any in the playthrough, they will be patched. Great. Enjoy the playthrough. All right. Uh, right, we're definitely going to take frame rate over image quality. Like, I'd rather have 60 FPS. Uh, this is actually being played on a Xbox One X. Unfortunately, I didn't get a Series X, but I will be planning to pick up one of those after it launches. Okay, we've got all of the regions. I am from England, so I'll be going with that. Number, um, go with 23. Yeah, that, that's how old I am, so why not? We'll go with 23. Do you want a square or a circle? I'll go with a circle. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media. I am your host, James Pumphrey, and I'm with the one and only Nolan Sykes. Say hi, Nolan. Hi, Nolan. You're a terrible man, and this is everything that's coming up on the full Donut Podcast. We're talking disciplines, ice racing, land rush, sprint, extreme technical off-road. We are deep diving different types of driving. We're going to be talking superstars. We got opinions on AJ. Can the most decorated, most entertaining driver in the Dirt Off-Road Series keep this main event win streak going forever? We're talking challengers. We got something to say about Bruno Durand, the man that can do two and now four wheels. He's lit a fire under this series and seems unstoppable right now. Is he really set to dominate this year? But first, we are talking rookies. We're going to want to be up to speed <laughs> with the pick of the current crop because they might one day make the leap to the dirt off-road series, and you'll want to be there from the very start. So, let's go. All right, so our first event is a Ultra Cross with Modern Rally, and it is with a Skoda Fabia Rally 2 Evo. In, I don't even want to try and pronounce that. I'm, I'm not going to. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. First things first, get rid of that. I, I do not want to be copyright claimed on every single part of this playthrough. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I'll, I'll probably just keep it all basic for now. Uh, yeah, we won't mess around with any of that. I'll see what it's like, but we'll just we'll make sure the music's off. Right, there we go. That's better. We haven't got any music playing. Which kind of sucks, kind of ruins the experience, but it is what it is for YouTube. Can't have any music. That's fine though. To be honest, I actually prefer playing racing games without music, um, just so I can concentrate more. I find it quite hard to concentrate when there's like too much going on, you know. Oh, okay. Brake right in front of me. Go out of my way. Oh. Okay. Um, so yeah, the feel for the game, it's a bit different. Um, to what I've seen, obviously I haven't really looked into it too much, but I know it's very similar to uh, Dirt 2 and Dirt 3, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got loads of like, fan favourite events that will pop up through the career. Man, we are like away from everyone. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the difficulty is probably on like easy or something, so we'll change all that after the race. Um, but yeah, I, I get very sidetracked by the way when I'm playing this or any game So bear with me if I kind of go off on a tangent or forget what I'm actually trying to pronounce um, <clears throat> But yeah, the only other thing I've really seen about the career mode is that you can kind of choose what path you want to go down So I believe you can do every race in the end. You can just go back to it But if you want to just go through the career quite quickly, which is what I'll do as I crash into that wall 
is uh, just go through like say one row at a time um, and then I may come back to them at the very end of the playthrough just to kind of show what the experience of that event was. Uh, but I'll try to spice it up as well where I can and choose loads of different events which is ideal of course. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to change to uh, manual. This is in automatic at the moment. I mean there's nothing wrong with it but I just prefer playing manual on racing games. But so far, the it, it seems quite nice, you know, the the whole driving of it seems all right. Um, I know we've got loads of different cameras as well. We've got what a far one. I mean, I probably won't be using this too often. Not really. Don't know. We've got that. Oh, that proper immersive, you, doesn't it? We've got bonnet cam. We've got the two cockpit cams. Oh, okay, that threw me off a bit. As I say, change that back. Oh, okay. That was close. 123. So we go, 2 minutes 47 in total. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Rewards, what are we getting? Well, we've got four different things. Right, XP is the lightning bolt. That's good to know. Uh, what is this one? Rep. Okay, 10 rep. Oh, we didn't do the two event. Ah, uh, that's all right. Dirt dollars. Okay, we've got quite a lot of dirt dollars. And we've got some new unlocks. Okay, so they're the different things available. So we've got XP, rep, dirt dollars, which is currency. And then just the general unlocks, which seems to be like liveries and stuff like that. All right, we'll continue. Complete the Dirt 5 tutorial to be able to receive and accept game invites. There you go. To those of you that want to accept... Uh, hello? Hello, AJ. <laughs> uh, so AJ is voiced by Troy Baker. You may know him, I'm sure many of you do, uh, from various different games. And I believe the main competitor in the game is voiced by Nolan North. Uh, we haven't heard him yet, to what I know, so... I'm sure he shall pop up at some point. But here's the menu. So we've got career, we've got online, arcade, we've got the playgrounds mode, which I'm very excited to dive into at some point. Then we've got the garage, which will have all the cars, which I'll be doing a separate video on. So if you want to see the uh, full car list, I'll link it down below in part one. And then we've got our profile. So I'm going to have a quick gander and then probably just cut to when I get to the next race unless something cool pops up. And straight away, I regret saying that because we've got loads of things that we can customise in here. Okay, so you've got player card. Uh, oh, okay, so you can change your player card and that's what you use the, was it dirt dollars? That's what you use the currency for. So, and it's quite, okay, it's quite a lot to unlock. Wow. Right, we're going to go with that one. Ah, okay, you can change your nickname as well. Man, right, I'll be back when I find a nickname. There are way too many nicknames to choose from, but I'm going to go with Donut. I like donut. We're gonna go over that. Oh, okay. We've got 3D effects as well. Man, there's, there's quite a lot to like customize your own like profile card. Oh, man, some of these are awesome. Okay, so you can. Oh, achievement. Customize and save your player card. Great. 10 games scored, done and done. Uh, so yeah, you can change your nationality and region whenever you want. Same with the race number and the background. So if you don't like it off the get-go, don't worry. You can change it. Right, back into the career we go. Hey there. If you're listening to this message, then uh, congratulations. Not only did you enter your details correctly, but you also impressed me. You impressed me enough that I'm going to invite you to the AJ Racing Academy. Now, as you may have guessed, it's been set up by yours truly. And my one and only goal is to push you out there a bit more. You know, throw you in the deep end and see if you can swim. Make Team AJ a dominant force in the world of extreme motorsports. So, no, no pressure. Well, that's you all signed up. Welcome to the club. Now listen, I know you just want to get out there and wreck some tires, but just hold up a minute. I've curated a whole bunch of events you might be interested in, and I'm giving you, yes, you, the luxury of choice. No need to thank me. See what takes your fancy and just jump right in. If you find a style you really connect with, then by all means, stick with it. But you can always mix it up with something a bit different. Hey, you never know where you might make a name for yourself. And this is all about making a name for yourself, right? Yes. Yes, I am right. 
Okay, so that is AJ. Um, he is basically taking us under his wing, giving us some uh, great advice by the sounds of it. Source this. Completing an event will unlock connected events. Okay. Uh, selecting an event lets you review the event details and go to the track. Kind of obvious. Every event can give you stamps depending on your position. So as I came first, I'm assuming I get all three stamps. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay, cool. Oh, and you, what's that? Let's have a look. Reroll leaderboards. Right, reroll. Okay, so if I, what one do we want to do? Do we want to do a rally raid or do we want to do a land rush? Oh, man. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea which one I want to do. Um, right, which one do we want to do? Rally raid or a land rush? Uh, we've got Greece and China. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that one there. Also, uh, there's a re-roll feature, so you can re-roll the career objectives or the event objectives. So, perform two overtakes while drifting, hit a vehicle once and exceed 60 miles an hour. You know what? Let's re-roll that. What we've got now? Trade paint, exceed 50 miles an hour and overtake whilst drifting. Okay. I should be able to do all of those, hopefully. If not, definitely two of them. Oh, you can make a library. Oh. I mean, it's already red. Okay, right, I'm going to mess around with this, and I shall be back. It probably won't change much, because I'm not very good when it comes to this stuff, but we shall be back. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so, yeah, the it's not too in-depth by the looks of it. You can add, like, decals and sponsors and stuff. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it pretty basic for now, and I may dive into it again at some point. Why does it look orange? I made the car yellow. Why is it orange? <laughs> okay, it's apparently orange. Right, I have no idea what that guy's saying. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll try and keep all the intros in for every like new event we do. It just saves me explaining it, and it'll probably explain it a lot better as well. Obviously, we know what most of the events already are. There are a few new ones in the game, uh, but like Land Rush and stuff like that. If you've played previous Dirt games, you, you'll, you'll know what they are. As we uh, slide it around the corner. Oh, I, I should probably up the difficulty then. These guys are all oh, actually know that they are keeping up. I say that as they, as they catch up. <laughs> oh, look at that slide. So yeah, if I go quiet at any point, it's because I'm concentrating. I'm sure you guys will understand. I want to try and do good and not throw. So, uh, yeah, if I go silent, it is what it is. I mean, I know I've only done like one and a bit race, but the drifting, it seems all right. You know, it's not the best. But at the same time, it's not... Oh, okay, as I crash. Oh, no. But it's not awful. It seems quite, like, fluent. I may have to turn traction control off as well, because I am gripping to this like no tomorrow. Oh. Almost. <laughs> almost. Almost threw it off the cliff. Yeah, we, we don't want that. We don't want that. Okay, it's like split paths as well that you can take. Right, well this one definitely seems faster than the other one. That one just seems like it's going to go a lot slower if you take that route. Okay, so they've actually done quite a lot then. Oh, oh. Obviously, if, if you get different options on a uh, race, it's quite nice. It's not too often you see that in racing games, so it's nice to see it. still a thing. As for the weather effects, they seem okay. Obviously, I'm sure they're a lot better on like the Series, uh, series X. 
instead of a One X or even PC, for instance. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely do like some gameplay when I pick up the Series X on dirt, as I'm sure there'll be a massive graphics difference. There we go, coming to the end. We've done like a 303. It's not bad. I, I don't really know if that's good or not, to be honest, but okay. Oh, <laughs> everyone crashes into me at the end. Moving on up, level three. Okay, so if you complete all three of the objectives, so I think you get, what, 10 rep per time? So yeah, you definitely want to try and uh, complete as many of them as you can. Okay, and we've got some unlocks. <laughs> Vampire sticker. Ready for Halloween. So, Nolan, speaking of the current crop of racers, did you remember the name of that rookie that you were telling me about the other day? Donut? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, kind of funky name. Gonna be honest, a little jealous. Hey now, man. James is a great, strong name. I really appreciate that, bud. Thank you. Did you know that it's a popular boy's name? It means supplanter or one who follows. You know, in the 17th century Scotland. Are you reading off the internet? I would, I would never. Nolan, I can see your phone. Put it away. You're just reading off the internet. <sighs> okay. Uh, you're an amazing wealth of information, Nolan. I'm sure people tuned into this to listen to name meanings. Let's talk about cars and racing. Okay, so that was the podcast that actually pops up throughout the game. Uh, first time we've seen it. I know we had like an introduction from both of them at the start. But yeah, by the looks of it, if you complete a race, they'll pop up. And it also gives you the option to uh, pause and play whenever you want. So if you don't want to listen to it, you don't have to. But I'm definitely going to be listening to it because it's a whole part of the experience. You can't just be skipping out on that kind of stuff. And it's pretty cool that they called me by my nickname of Donut. So I'm assuming they've had to have done that for every single nickname. And that's a lot of nicknames. All right, next up, we have a stampede event, which is called The Crusher. So it is a X-Cross raid. So I'm assuming we'll have a different vehicle. I can only imagine... Uh, we do. Okay. What have we got? We've got a Volkswagen Touareg. Is that how you pronounce it? I, th I think it's Touareg. I could be wrong. All right, here we go. Here we go. We've got, what is it, trucks by the looks of it. So we've got 70 miles an hour, position first, so that's nice and easy. I should hopefully be able to get all of these, thinking about it. Everyone can just get out of my way, please. Here we go. Right, it does. Oh, okay, fantastic. No, get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. The thing that I've noticed so far, though, is that AI, they're, they're pretty clunky. Um, I mean, it may be because of the difficulty I'm on as well. Like, they may obviously get progressively worse. I don't know. I'd imagine on easy, they probably just break, like, all the time. That's yeah, pretty cool. This isn't like a quarry by the looks of it. Oh, we've already done all... Do you know what? I didn't even notice. We've already done all three of the objectives. Well, okay, there we go. That was nice and easy. So we should hopefully get 30 rep at the end of the race, or is it 40? I can't remember, but we'll see. Oh, we've got a split path again. Uh, we'll, we'll go down here. We'll go down this way. Well, please don't, please don't like throw me off the course. Ooh. Look at that slide. Oh, here we go. Here comes that jump I mentioned. Okay, that's that's pretty cool for a track. Just like casually jumping over everything. 
Oh man, we're speeding. We are speeding. Slow down. Oh, all depending on how the races go for me. I'll probably cut up a few of them if it gets a bit boring. Um, that'll mainly be on the second lap, to be honest. If not, I'll just keep the whole thing in. I, I have no idea. It's my first, my first playthrough. Right, we're going to take the top path this time. Not the bottom one. I mean, I don't think there'll really be any difference on a lot of them. Like this one, it seems to be the exact same. But I guess you don't lose your speed if you go up the top one. So there we go. We might shave a few extra seconds off for the lap time. Which will be nice. Not even letting off the, uh, the uh, acceleration there. Oh, bit smashed up at the front. There we go. That is the race done. 3.31 in total. Okay, I think I found my first glitch in the game. If you skip everything at the end, this happens. So what have we got? Uh, we've got the Rally Raid, Lion's Head, and then we've got Land Rush. Now, we've done a Rally Raid, so we'll do a Land Rush. This one's in Greece, but that one is... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, right, we'll do that. Oh, what is this? WS Auto Racing Titan. Look at this. Look at this. All right, okay, we'll take it. All right, here we go. Um, I'm assuming this thing's going to be pretty fast. It sounds it. And yeah, here we go. It is very quick. All right. Out my way. Get out my way. Or not. Oh, no. I'm dropping. Nah, nah. It's all right. We got this. Oh, loads of them just span out on the mini map. I don't know if any of you saw that. But like three of them crash into that rock. Oh no. This thing's very hard to control. Um, I have actually turned traction control off. Um, I remember to do that thankfully before this race and I'm glad I did. I am very glad I did because if traction control was on for this thing, it would be very, very hard to turn, you know? Like it would just be kind of gripping, I'd be going too slow. We, we don't want that in this. Oh, it's only three gears. Okay, there's only three gears in this. Powering through there. I didn't get a chance to see what the top speed was. Is it like 96? Can it reach 100? We'll have to have a look on the next straight. The next time we come up to it, we'll have to have a look. Oh no, there we go. I saw it, don't worry. That's that answered. It can definitely reach 100. Oh, okay. This, this might be our fastest lap, you know. As long as I don't mess up. As I mess up. Oh, we're taking it wide. Oh, now we're fine. We're fine. Oh, the plane's back. Hello, mate. I don't know. I kind of messed up those last few turns there. Let's have a look. 57 seconds, I think, was our fastest lap. I'm not too sure, though. There we go. Yes, yeah, so it gave us loads of rep that time. Oh, okay, and a lot of cash. Okay, yeah, so you do get a lot of cash through these events. So we should be able to afford a lot of things. Right, let's have a look at the leaderboards. Um... Oh, okay. So we are second at the moment. Obviously, not many people have got it, um, as I've got early access to the game. And I'll take that, because I know I won't be able to beat Don Joe on song. I might be able to if I attempt it again, but I'll do that in the future. But for now, second's pr pretty good. Uh, you know what? Let's... What have we got? Trade pain, overtake... No, I like that. I, I like those. I'm, I'm not going to re-roll, but we'll do this. Oh, Okay. Right, shall we buy our first vehicle? Yeah, why not? Because like, although we've got that, it, it seems to be you'll have a vehicle for every class, so you won't have to necessarily worry about spending too much money. But if you want to 
expand your horizons and use different vehicles, then definitely purchase some. And we are going to purchase... I mean, the Fiesta seems to be the best one, so we'll get the Fiesta. There we go. We'll take the Fiesta. We'll take it. Uh, we'll just keep it. We'll just keep it basic. Right, let's restart that and try again. Uh, so yeah, this being on the One X instead of like the Series X or the PS5, for instance, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, frame issues. Uh, it probably just because it can't handle everything. Uh, hopefully we can get in front and not have to deal with any frame issues, which would be nice. So if there's like a big clump of uh, AI, then yeah, you're going to have some frame issues. And I did not anticipate that corner at all. So far, this seems all right. I know the fest has always been uh, been pretty good when it comes to this kind of stuff. So we've got to do one more drift and we've got to do a jump and trade paint. Well, we haven't come across a jump yet. There's the jump. Right, let's see if we can do... No, oh yeah, we did it. Okay, I, I didn't think we did it. I thought it was too far in front. Oh wait, we've already done this course, haven't we? I'm, I'm recognising it now. We're doing it backwards, by the looks of it. Okay, we're doing it in reverse and in the snow. Is that the finish? Yeah. Okay, we've got three laps in total. So yeah, I probably won't include all of them. But if I do, then I sound like an idiot. But yeah, well, I'll probably like skip through <laughs> some of the uh, some of the races because we don't want to see the whole thing unless something cool happens. Okay, so the snow actually seems to be picking up a lot. Um, I'm finding it quite hard to see anything now. So that's pretty cool. Kind of like dynamic weather events that happen. Oh, <laughs> almost rolling it, almost. Um, but yeah, so the snow is picking up quite a bit. I don't know if it's gonna pick up anymore. No idea. But one thing I have noticed though with the game is unlike like Dirt 3, for instance, we obviously had the rewind feature. We don't have that anymore. So there's no like, if you crash, that's it. You, you got to hope that you're further enough ahead or you can uh, make up the time. If not, you're going to have to restart. And yeah, I've got a feeling at some point in this playthrough, I'm going to be on, say, the last lap, a crash, and then that's it. <laughs> I've got to restart. That's fine, though. Like, it, it's obviously a lot of games that don't do that. Like, most games, thinking about it, don't have uh, the rewind feature. So I, I like it because it's quite handy to have especially for like arcade races, but at the same time, I'm not too bothered if they don't have it. It's not the end of the world. Okay, I was literally panicking then. Please do not overtake me. Oh. That's the thing, I literally touched the wall and I thought they were gonna overtake me at the end. Man, I would have been so mad. So yeah, I'm assuming the more laps you do, the more money you get, the more rep, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, halfway through level six. Hey, leveled it up. Level two. Wonder what we get from that. What was that, like 30k we got off that event? Zayom. Alright. Got a choice of either Icebreaker or a Stampede event. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure we've already done a Stamp. Yeah, we have. We've already done one, so we're going to do the Icebreaker. It's got to be done. Oh, what do I want to use, though? Uh, do I want to use that again? It it feels quite quick. Yeah, why not? We'll use it again.
Uh, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Don't think I really need that for single players, so we're all good. Right, so taking a wild guess, this is all going to be on ice. Uh, and everyone just turned into me, okay? Sick AI there. Right, because we are on hard, so I feel like it might be quite a tough one to win on hard. I may have to lower the difficulty. We'll soon find out, though. See, 70 miles an hour. Man, I haven't even got to that yet. Oh, no, apparently I have for five seconds. Got to do it for 55. Oh, man. How am I meant to get that? I can't get 70 miles an hour. I should have re-rolled. I didn't look. I'm an idiot. There we go. Unless I, like, spin out or something. we got to win. That's pretty fun, you know, on the ice. Anyone that watches my Forza videos, you know that I'm not a fan of it in that game. But on this, you know, it's part of the rally experience. Ah. All right, I'll make sure I look at all of the, uh, you know, the little things that pop up before each race. Just to make sure that I can hopefully achieve that. Or all of them, anyway. Oh, we got nothing from the Donut Media team. Right, what have we got here? We've got Hot Sprint in the US, Arizona. We've got Brazil. I think we've already done a Brazil event, haven't we? So I might do the one in the US. What have we got? Uh, I've taken two vehicles in 10 seconds, hit a vehicle once. Let's re-roll. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, can I re-roll again? Oh, I can. Oh, so you can re-roll as many times as you want. Okay. Uh, while drifting, hit a vehicle. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Could go. Oh. What is this? Wait. Does it say what it is on the event? Sprint. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah, we've, we've got this bad boy. The Jupiter Hawk 410. All right. I've never actually driven one of these in a race. Actually, no, I have. I have. I can't remember. I don't know if it was a dirt game or it could have been Gran Turismo back in the day. I can't remember, but I have driven one before. So, we can only really go left. Obviously, we can go... Okay, that surprised me. Wait, there's only one gear? Whoa, okay. Oh, my. That is a... <laughs> what? I have no idea how I'm going to get in first. Absolutely no idea. I might actually have to quit because I can't do anything. I'll restart it and give it another go. Like, I didn't expect that off the start. But... For anyone that is watching, I am British, by the way. I don't know if this is really a thing over here. I don't really watch a lot of racing. I more or less just play games to do with racing stuff. Um, but... It seems like more of an American thing, these cars. Again, could be wrong. I'm just taking it on a whim because it's in the US. But by the looks of it, restarting should hopefully mean that I should be able to win. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. But yeah, it can... Oh, oh. Please. I'm like proper concentrating right now. This is such a short event. But... Yeah, please, I just want to come first. I don't want to have to, like, quit out and restart it all. But, yeah, these things seem pretty uh, pretty cool. Obviously, only one gear. This is, this is all new to me, and I'm sure some of you may 
be a bit rustled with the fact that I have no idea what these things really are or that I don't really know where they originate from. But if you watch this kind of stuff, let me know. To be honest, I might actually look at a few YouTube videos on like these kind of races after this recording because I'm very curious now. I've never, like I remember, I remember using something like this like ages ago in some sort of racing game. I can't remember what it is, but I, I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. All right, I got ourselves to level eight. Got some more rep. You see that? Events like these, that's what we're after. The big headline grabbing showstoppers. But they don't just let anyone enter, not even if AJ asks very nicely. So how do I get that golden ticket I hear you ask? Well, my friend, you gotta work your magic elsewhere. You win a race here, you get your reputation there, and generally just do the absolute best you can. Well, how'd that happen? Here I am explaining how it works, and there you go, boom, main event. Oh, okay. Main events are at the end of each chapter. I kind of gathered when it started going from pink to yellow. Uh, to unlock the next chapter, you need to finish at least third. Ah, I'll come first. Right, so we can do a land rush or we can do an ultra cross. Man, what do I want to do? I can't remember what car was what. You know what? I, no, I want to do an ultra cross. We're going we're gonna to go with good old loyal and faithful. We're going to go with our first car that we started off with as well. Why not? Right. I'll make sure. I forgot to check the... the we've got two seconds of air time. 50 miles an hour. Yeah, okay. Fine. We can do that. <clears throat> yeah, so... This is going to be the last event, I take it, for the chapter. I'm not too sure how many chapters there are in the game. Um, I'd imagine there's about three or four. If there's more, fantastic. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there'll be like an introduction once this loading screen's done, but pretty interesting. So I'll probably keep this as the first video. Um, I did actually start recording for part two, but if I knew there was only three races, I would have just chucked them all together. I wonder if they've upped the laps now as well. Oh, yes, we have. So that's what I like. Like, I don't mind two laps, but it's quite short, you know. But I wonder if they're going to put it up to, like, you know, five or ten laps, like, when it gets near the end of the game. Which, who knows? It might, might not. Thanks for breaking in front of me. So, yeah, I apologise if it looks choppy at any point when I'm with loads of AI. It's going to happen. And once I get out in front... Um, that will go away. And I am playing on hard difficulty. I don't want to play on very hard because I'd rather not stress myself out. Um, sweating all the time, you know. I'm, I'm just playing it for fun. But yeah, have you guys made it like this far into the video? How, how are you finding it so far? Is it a game you're going to be picking up? Is it a game you're going to watch me play through? Let me know. Um, I've been enjoying it quite a lot. I'm not just saying that. Um, I am like genuinely am a fan of the Dirt games. Um, I didn't really play Dirt Rally uh, 1 or 2 that much. Um, I did have it on Xbox, uh, both of them actually, but I, I didn't really play them. Um, I did play Dirt 4 on PC and Dirt 3 was the last one I remember playing a lot of. Um, like I completed that twice on Xbox and like fully again on uh, PC. So yeah, that's, that's one of my favourites. And so far this feels like... Dirt 3 and Dirt 2, like, I kind of know what they mean when they say, obviously, it feels like that. Like, I, I get it. I've been having fun. There's obviously a few things here and there. I'll probably do, like, a review video um, once I've played, like, a few more hours into the game and just kind of compile everything together. Just say, like, my overall thoughts. If any of you would want to watch that, let me know. Oh, I took that corner horribly. Right, I was going to go for a lap time, but we'll have to do that on the last lap. So, yeah, now that I've got a feel for this course... I might see if I can set a fast lap time for uh, lap three. So what was that, like a 120? Okay, let's see if we can beat that. Oh, look at that, here we go, that's better. All right, I reckon we can beat 120. Not by much, but I reckon we can beat it. Oh no. 
I jinxed myself there, hadn't I? Oh no. <laughs> I threw on the last corner. Okay, whatever. Ah, it is what it is. I'm sure we're probably still quite high up on the leaderboard, so. Oh, okay, that was chapter one. There we go. Completed chapter one. Surely that can't be like the last race to it though, because I know there's obviously two other race variants at the top, I'm pretty sure. I'll have a look after this and see what, what they actually said. I haven't really looked at them because I haven't had a reason to. I know what you're thinking. Why am I suddenly going all over the world in really amazing cars, almost no questions asked? Well, don't think too hard about it. Save your brain cells for where you need them, you know? On the track, all you need to know is you're doing well. And there's brands out there that want to be attached to your name. And here's a nice bit. You get to choose who suits you best. So get reading the finer details because they're all going to demand different things from you. And each sponsor will offer different rewards, too. The final thing to consider is loyalty. You can only go so far with some sponsors, so don't be afraid to jump ship for a higher reward further down the road. It's all about keeping you racing, all right? Okay. Right, this is our first sponsor that we can take. Uh, sponsors give you money for racing. Your current sponsor is Codemasters. Access their details on the tab. Uh, this shows your current sponsor rep. Okay, so it shows your level as well. 3 out of 15, you get 2k per race. So that seems to be one of the best ways to make money as well. Is obviously if you level up your sponsor, more money. To increase your rep, you need to complete objectives. Different from sponsor to sponsor. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, so that's fine. Max race pay, 5,000. Each sponsor has a set amount of races that they want you to complete. If you stay around longer, you will get a loyalty bonus. You can change your sponsor any time, but if you leave during your contract, you will lose rep. Wants to give you 8K? Okay, well, 21 that wants to earn money, you know what you got to do. <laughs> get monster. <laughs> there you go. All right, we'll keep with K and M for now, um, and that is the first chapter of Dirt Five. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to actually go about doing the uh, like episodes or parts. I might do them like in chapters, but I feel like the videos will be very long. So I'll see how this one does, and then depending on how this one will do, then I'll do uh, like part two and part three as like chapter two, for instance. Um, it kind of spread out a bit, so there's more videos for you guys to watch. Yeah, if you guys made it this far into the video, uh, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed Dirt 5 so far. As I said, I've been really enjoying it. I'm hoping to get on to some more events. We haven't had a Jim Gymkhana yet. I know there was one that popped up, but hopefully, depending on what path I take, we'll be able to do one. And then in separate videos, I may jump in uh, online and also the Playgrounds mode. I definitely want to give that a go. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next part. Adios.